What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be exploring what appears to be the full map list for Black Ops 6 at launch, as well as a bunch of remastered maps that are expected beyond launch. And in addition to this, I compiled and organized all of the footage to show you what these maps look like, or at least a good handful of them, from the official Black Ops 6 reveal that we got a little while back. Now I know there's tons of gameplay leaks out there at this stage, I'm not going to be showing you any of those leaks, but those leaks did help nail down the official names for those maps, since the leak list is coming from a data mine, and with those data mines they're using the code names or the working names of the maps that don't typically line up with the official name when the game actually comes out. So let's go over those ones that we have seen footage of and we now know all the names of. The first one here is Rewind and this is a medium-sized map set in a strip mall area. In fact the code name for it is Strip Mall but the official name is Rewind and in this image here from the reveal we actually got an overhead view of Rewind. And we have this strip mall area in the middle where it's all the buildings, many of them are connected, and it appears this is where all of the close quarters combat will be taking place. Then of course we have the street in the front, and this is where you're going to see a lot more of the mid to longer range combat. And then there's also a back alley area on the back side of the strip mall. Overall, based on what we can see, I would call this a medium to maybe medium small size map for a Call of Duty game. It's not tiny by any means, but it's also not even close to what I would call a larger map. Next, another map that was shown off a ton throughout the official reveal, this is Skyline. And this one takes place in a mansion with a nice pool, super nice lighting on this one. And this one definitely appears to be more of a smaller map. However, it does have some verticality to it. You can see there are two stories to it. You can fight in the upper story or the ground level. And then on top of this, based on the leaks, there's also a hidden route that you can take underneath. And we actually see the player using it in this clip from the reveal as well. So that's pretty interesting, and overall, I'm loving the looks of this one. Not only is it a nice looking size where it's small and there's plenty of action, but it's not so tiny like shipment that there's no room to breathe at all on it. But also, I like the fact that it's got really good lighting and super clean lines. I love maps that have those features. As for the next one that we saw quite a few clips with from the reveal, this is Derelict. And this is like a train graveyard area, so there's a bunch of trains in the middle. It looks like a highly linear map, really colorful, lots of greens on there. There does appear to be a two-story building that overlooks an area. And it appears you'll be fighting in and around and on top of the trains with lots of close quarters opportunities while also having some overwatch positions like that two-story building that overlooks the train yard area. As far as the size of this map, once again, this is not a large map by any means. It doesn't appear we're going to be seeing any really large maps in this game, at least not within the beta build of the game from the leaked maps that we've seen. So overall, based on what I have seen from the leaks, as well as all of these gameplay clips, you can kind of piece together the general overview of the map. Once again, this appears to be a smaller to medium sized map. Then let's talk about Scud a little bit, and we saw quite a few gameplay clips of this one as well, especially when they were showing off their intelligent movement system. And with this, this is the one with that massive radar dish in the middle, and the code name for this is Radar, as far as we can tell. And this one does appear to be the biggest out of the ones we've seen so far for the 6v6 maps. But still, I wouldn't call this like a really large map based on what I've seen. It's just bigger than the one so far that we've had a look at, and it also appears to be the most open as well. It doesn't appear to have a really strict and narrow three-lane design. There's a lot more openness to it, and it looks like it has a key power position right in the middle of that dish that will have a good sight line on a huge open portion of the map, but that would also make you quite vulnerable if you were in that position. So there we go, those are the maps that we saw the most gameplay on that have now been confirmed and look like they will be in the beta build in the game based on the leaks. However, there's actually one more that we only saw a few short clips on, and this one is Babylon. And this one does appear to be quite a small map, like the smallest at least out of the 6v6 maps that we've seen so far. And it's got a very square shape to it. So there we go. Like I said, in that current leaked build that's out there, which appears to be the bones of the beta build, those are all of these 6v6 maps that were shown off through the official reveal. Although, there's actually one other map that is in that build of the game that's out there that wasn't shown at all. I couldn't find any clips of this, and this one is called Protocol, which I believe the code name for it was Island. So we may actually be seeing 6 6v6 maps in the beta build of the game, and we know we're getting 12 6v6 maps at launch, so let's have a look at the rest of these, keeping in mind these ones are from a data mine, and therefore, like I said, you're going to be seeing the working code name, not necessarily the name of the map, when we actually get the game in our hands. So with this, we have Red Card, Canals, Pillage, Stealth, Vorkuta, and Nuketown we know is coming as well, and that will make for 12, although there is some confusion here. In recent Black Ops games, Nuketown is something they add shortly after launch and not right at launch. So I'm curious to see if that happens again this time around and there's actually a missing map from this list that isn't Nuketown, or if Nuketown is included as one of the 12 maps that we're expecting right at launch. 
And this is where I just wanted to show a bunch of other clips that I compiled, and I tried to keep them together so it's like the same maps. And right here is, I believe, the map that they're currently calling Canals, since we can obviously see canals. In fact, the player is diving into a canal at one point. And then after that, we also have this map here, which honestly has a similar art style and lighting, so it might actually be the same map, and it's just a different section of that map that doesn't link up with the previous clips. Or this could be its own map as well. It appears to take place in like a museum area. Then we got a couple short clips here that appear to take place kind of like in a harbor area. We also got these two diving clips. This one could be Vorkuta, or it might be Pit, which we'll talk about in a little bit. And then finally, there's a couple clips on this snowy map as well. So that's likely one of these 6v6 maps that was on the list also. But there we go. Those are the 6v6 maps we're expecting at launch. Next, let's talk about the strike maps, which again are the tiny maps that were mainly designed for like 2v2. But 6v6 face-off was also very popular in Cold War, and that's confirmed to be coming back on these tiny maps. And with this, three of these are in the current leaked build of the game, so expected for the beta. We have Vorkuta Mine, which appears to be called Pit. And we actually saw a handful of clips here on Pit as well. Then we have a map called Flat in the Code. This appears to be Stakeout in the actual game. And then finally, a map that isn't in that current leak build, and therefore I don't expect it in the beta. This is Catacomb. And there we go. That appears to be the 16 maps that we can expect to see for the launch of Black Ops 6. Although again, Nuketown's still kind of up in the air as far as it being there right at launch, or like maybe a couple weeks after launch. However, on top of this, within the leaked code, there were also a handful of what appear to be remastered maps. And my best guess here is they're going to be releasing these maps as post-launch content as time goes on with Black Ops 6. Or who knows, maybe they'll surprise us with these maps for the launch of the game. And with these, we have Dig, which would be from Black Ops 2, which was a remake of Courtyard from World at War. There's one called Russian Base, and honestly, I don't know what that could be. We've had so many maps set in Russia. This could be one of many remade maps. We have Socotra 2, which would be Yemen from Black Ops 2. Hacienda from Black Ops 4. Firing Range, maybe from Black Ops 1, or maybe from one of the other Black Ops games. I mean, that's in basically every Black Ops that we've ever had. And then finally, a map that was listed as a remaster called Veiled, and I'm not too sure what that one could be. But, like I said, it was listed as an RM map, and I believe RM means remastered, since all of these other ones were also listed as RM, and they do appear to be remasters. And there we go. That's finally going to wrap it up for the list of all of the current leaked maps that we know about for Black Ops 6. And so far, based on what we've seen from the reveal, as well as from the leaks, I'm generally liking what I'm seeing. It seems like there's a fairly decent amount of variety outside of sizes. It doesn't look like there's a lot of size variety in this. And honestly, I'm okay with that, as long as there is like one or maybe two larger maps with the full build of the game. I realize most of the community tends to like small to medium-sized maps. For me personally, I generally lean more toward the medium-sized maps. And for the most part, the larger maps tend to be less popular than the others. In saying that though, for variety's sake, I hope we do at least have one or two of those larger maps. Otherwise, it may just get a little bit boring and repetitive, constantly playing on small to small medium maps. Now, of course, these are just my opinions, and I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below, based on what you guys are seeing here from the official reveal, as well as for those of you guys that have seen the leaks out there, how are you feeling about the maps so far in Black Ops 6? Are you guys generally happy with what you're seeing, or not so much? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.